adult beverages are poor, the kids are asleep. Welcome to New Dad Gaming, a show about fatherhood, gaming, and new fathers figuring out their gaming lives. My name is Trevor, and I have a one-year-old. My name is Gavin, and I have a one-year-old. And I'm Jeff. I got a six-year-old and a three-year-old. It has been another week. We did it. Mm. Made it. <laughs> three, three dads still survive. But for how long? Yeah. This is like our time capsule. It's just how many you can count the gray hairs as they come in. Yeah. It's, it's just... basically just it's Thunderdome. It's like <laughs> dad, dad, dad leaves. Uh, we pour, we pour one out to dear departed dad today. Uh, yeah, kids were too much, and uh, well, he hasn't been heard from. <laughs> went for cigarettes. Doesn't smoke, but went for cigarettes. Just didn't come back. He's gone. Come on. Living the good life. Uh, okay. He's. <laughs> We save nothing but like a box full of sand and shells. <laughs> oh. uh, so, so gentlemen, how was your week in fatherhood and gaming? Uh, Jeff, you're welcome to start if you want. Uh, my week was pretty boring, honestly. Um, nothing happened with the kids, which is actually, I guess it's it's good. Nothing happened, nothing crazy. Um, so everybody's happy, healthy, which is fine. Um, gaming wise little slight twist well not twist but um my son and i were watching sometimes we watch gameplay videos on youtube like he likes to watch like mario and zelda and stuff like that he likes to watch gameplay videos with you yeah yeah which is kind of of neat um (laughs) and i have to kind of you have to kind of be there with them anyway to some of the youtubers tend to you know, get a little upset, start swearing away. <laughs> so uh, I picked the parent safe or kid safe ones. But we discovered, which is awesome, and I can't stop watching, this 80-year-old grandmother that plays oh, yeah. Skyrim. Did you oh, see that? I know. Oh, her. my God. I she, was, what, what milestone did she just pass? Was it her 80th birthday or just like a thousandth video? It was, it was just her one-year anniversary of starting the channel. And then it was on That's Reddit, amazing. and everyone subscribed because I saw it. And um, it was on my like previewed YouTube thing. So I showed Jude a little bit of it, not the Skyrim stuff, but some other games she's played. And um, she's hilarious. And it's such an old woman playing. like It's so slow and thorough. And she's like making up parts of the narrative that aren't necessarily there. Um, <laughs> One in particular scene, I'll, I'll just do it quick, but the, in, in the beginning, there's um there's one mission I've done where you have to go and get a golden claw, and it's from like Bleak Falls, Barrow, or whatever, uh, the one in the snowy mountains. So she goes up there, she kills these bandits, they're inside, and she's like, oh, what are you going to give me here? Oh, eight gold, oh, I'll, I'll take your gold, and what about the, your, other, your other friend over here? Well, 16, he had more money than you. He must have been saving. And then she goes deeper into the cavern and you can loot all the, like, the dead corpse like urns and stuff and they're all empty. And she's like, well, the bandits must have stolen from them, but that's okay. I killed them and stole from them. So I've got the bandits' money. <laughs> it's like, wow. okay. But I'm just sitting there just that's like... Amazing. <laughs> I'm hanging on to every word. You're making up your own stuff. I love it. Keep going. That's adorable. Ah, uh, okay. I knew of her. Like I'd seen it like on a news thing or something. But like, yeah, Shirley Curry, uh, great. Shirley Curry. Okay. All right. We'll uh, we'll, we'll see. If we can link to it in the show notes because that's man. It's that's so, so especially for a kid to be like watching Grandma. It's yeah, like, Yay, it's a visit with Grandma. Except it's well, <laughs> hilarious. It's all calming. Yeah, it's like she's she's not gonna like swear at the screen or anything. So she's I, like the Bob Ross of gameplay videos. Yes. Oh, she would love that. Perfect. I'm sure she'd love that. She calls her viewers their grandkids. It's amazing. That's amazing. I love it. I just like I like that it gives us hope. Like, your grandkid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's some part. There's some part of me that always worries that like, even still, we'll get to an age and it's just like, and now we're done with childish things and we're no longer going to play video games. Like yeah, it'll be done. Yeah. Like we'll turn fifty and like, all right, well now That's I'm it. done. It really there's depends some, if you're the type of person who categorizes things as childish, like. I think that's the that's the threshold. Like, if you just never care to do that, then like yeah. you're safe. Like, I'm I'm ex- I part of fatherhood that excites me the most is playing with the toys. Like, I am just counting down the days till we get to like Mega Blocks and Duplo. Like, I'm just like <laughs> like, come on, we're almost there. 
you know, <laughs> and just those those sorts of things. So I think, and it's not because like I I still play with Lego and I collect figures and toys and stuff. I play video games unapologetically. Um, and like, I think it's becoming more and more socially acceptable because it's one of those things where it's like, you know, and they said that the meek inherited the earth, but they just had a typo. It was actually the geek inherited the earth. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of those things where the idea of childish things is starting to dissipate because, uh, I, I, I think too, is the millennial generation being too terrified to become adults that it's becoming socially acceptable to have childish things in your life because a lot of people are keeping that in their life quite actively, sometimes to a fault. Um, you know, if it gets in the way of le you learning how to boil water and cook an egg thoroughly, then maybe you should put down the Game Boy just long enough to learn a new skill. <laughs> um, you know, hit save, you get back to it. But yeah, I, I don't know. That whole uh, put down the childish yeah. things, I will raise my cardboard sword in the air and <laughs> never yeah and i um never. I, I was a bit i was a bit flippant flippant it, those are all great points I, I was a little bit flippant in phrasing it like that i think more just there, there's still some part of me that assumed that perhaps as i would age maybe it would fall off like for other hobbies or just I, i'm not interested anymore and then but every now yeah, and then you hear about whether it's like yeah whether yeah. your digging of it dissipates you know, your appetite for it dissipates rather than like you actively setting it aside out of some sense of obligation, but rather the like, will I pass this up for another hobby, you know, whether it be gardening or carpentry or what have you, but like whether natural aging makes you sort of gravitate towards something else that's um, less playful, I guess is a good way of describing it, uh, rather than like, you know, childish or something, but like whether you go to less playful things um and things that are a little bit more uh skill in the sense of like like applied knowledge based skill as opposed to like uh problem solving or reflex skill um yeah yeah that is it is a good point because like there could be a moment where that sort of dissipates but seeing but seeing these like grannies play and there's, and there's, a, there's a there's a couple there's stories a every now and then i'll see there's a there's a great stream where this guy had a written letter correspondence with his grandfather who was going through geez it might have been skyrim itself or it might have been call of duty i doubt it was call of duty honestly but either way he was like writing these like missives he's like oh well today i had gone through this other part here and i found this part a little slower than the last but just the same i made it through and continuing on with my journey i was able and just like yeah Writing this basically diet, like almost like a, as if it's a letter from the war, <laughs> like, <laughs> like writing a message about what, what's gone through. And it was just, it's so charming. And like I said, it, just, it gives me hope that this could actually, like, we'll, we would keep on this hobby yeah. the entire time. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't have a lot of doubts that we would, but just the same. It's kind of just reassuring sometimes to see these older folks getting into it or staying I in it. Just, like, if anything, it's one of those things where rather than, like, you just find that one. Like she she plays other games, yeah, but Skyrim's really the one. Like that's her her go to. Yeah. And like how the hobby transforms into a life that's less um, wanting to like explore new things. Um, I think that's one of the things that sort of causes that sort of dissipation of enthusiasm for those things is because like get set in your ways um but it's like if you took video games and how would they be adapted into like retirement life you know like would you be making short stories and posting them on reddit reddit based on like your adventures in in skyrim or would you be doing this or that like how would you and like you know there's also the factor too is like our grandparents um didn't really have like youtube streaming you know yeah so it's like we're starting to see this now too where there's these avenues like uh posting short stories and blogging and like you know doing youtube videos and that that weren't there before so would that also have that participation and we also have a generation that grew up so comfortable with technology that it wasn't an appendix to their knowledge base it was part and parcel it was always there 
So I think like our generation, we're so used to tech that I don't know there'll be as much of a drop off because I think a lot of our previous generation, there was a bit of a drop off in retirement because it's like, okay, I'm retired now. I don't need to know this for work. I'm not touching a cell anymore. I'm out. Um, but like with oh, us, man. because it permeates our off time too. Just oh, retirement. Can you imagine? That's so much time to play games. <laughs> so <laughs> much time to play games. <laughs> That's the dream. It's perfect. It's just That's like a dream. Yeah. You're an adult. You have money. You have time. There yeah. was time. We could play games now. And no one's around to tell you. You're an adult. You're an old retired man. Knock off. I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> one talks to Grandpa. Grandpa does what he wants. Yeah. Grandpa's locked in his VR world again. Yeah, Damn right. Grandpa, his, Grandpa went to his VR room with a bottle of scotch. Nobody yeah. bought him for five hours. <laughs> Don't bug me. Yeah. Uh, the, what, um... Do not open the door. <laughs> That's um, anything else in your week then, Jeff? Pretty calm and just watching old ladies play games. That's basically <laughs> it. That was my life this week. Yeah, that sounds delightful. Yeah. yeah. Um, Gavin, would you like to go over myself? Um, I'll go quick. Uh, baby was pretty good. Like you know, having fun. E equally around. boring. So there's not um, a lot of where's the, where's the kid drama? What's going on? No, she did have a boring week. Yesterday yeah. was a fussy day. Yesterday was a very fussy day. Don't Good. know why. Like, <laughs> maybe she was gassy. We don't know. But, like, the whole day was just like that fussy, like, ah, drone the entire day. Um, occasionally pause with a giggle, but then right back to, ah. <laughs> what was so, I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm angry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All day long. And, of course, then the dog decides to chime in because he likes to howl when she does that. So that was uh, delightful. But we still managed to have a really nice day together, all in all. Um, but yeah, she was just extra fussy. Um, what else? Uh, oh, my wife and I finished a series called Brain Dead. I highly recommend it to mm. anybody looking for something new to watch. Um, it's really, really, show? really fun. Hmm? Yeah, it was Sorry. a mini series. I think it was 12 episodes long. Um, and the whole premise is uh, alien bugs are eating people's brains and taking them host and hostage for uh, like an invasion. And, it, and it's like a satirical thing. So it's like really sort of like, uh, like Shaun of the Dead kind of comedy horror thing, um, but super based on satire and political satire. So the, the epicenter of the invasion is like Capitol Hill in Washington. And it's the idea of like politicians and just like brain dead politicians who just are making weird bills and then vetoing things for no reason and just like but how like the aliens are using this sort of confusion to their advantage um and this sort of like you know people not wanting to cross the aisle and work together uh bipartisanship uh yeah it's just beautifully written really really fun it's it's a really clever take on this sort of like invasion of the body snatchers vibe uh, mm -hmm. totally recommend that um also finished the uncharted series i finished the third one off so not the series but the trilogy uh, i got the fourth one on deck i'm gonna probably crack into it Oof, all the way th all the way through that's impressive okay. yeah i finished all three of them uh third one was good but it felt like it echoed a lot of the um a lot of components from the second mm -hmm. um but it was still an enjoyable ride but there was i could see why it wasn't as well received as the second one um it had a little bit of sequelitis, but it was still really fun. Um, and then I finished a game out of spite this week. Uh, first time ever <laughs> that I can recall. I can hate to finish. Yeah, I haven't I haven't hate played a game in a long time. <laughs> and it was um, Killzone Shadowfall. Oh really? Now, oh don't wow. Don't get me wrong. I really liked the first Killzone, and there's components of this game I really liked. Um, but there was just some other, some items on it I just could not get past um, to fully enjoy the game. Um, it was a visually stunning piece of yeah, work. Yeah, gorgeous game. Yeah, but it, there was times where I felt like it sort of prioritized that over certain movement mechanics and just game feel and, and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to see it through to the end. Um, it wasn't also just playing it out of spite, but it was also why I, I was really curious as to what 
were the components about it that were preventing my full on enjoyment of it? Um, cause I, I, as I said, like, I really liked the first kill zone on PS2. Um, I played that game and I really, really dug it. It had a certain like clunkiness to it, but not in a bad way, but in a, like the equipment felt heavy. Yeah. Weighted, cumbersome. right? Yeah. yeah. And I think that was something that really played to it. But the enemy characters seem to be burdened the same way. Where this one, I think one of the things that really got to me was the enemy characters seem perfectly fine wielding these big, heavy things, and their animations were fluid and smooth. But then when I tried to echo that, um, I found it really difficult to sort of, it felt like I was, I had weights on my ankles and they didn't. Um, so there was that sort of factor. But like there was just certain items about the game where I was like, okay, that might not have been a really solid choice. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to be as uh, diplomatic as possible with my not digging it. <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, I just I couldn't really have fun with it. I think that's one thing that a game really needs to try to pay attention to is the enjoyment factor. Is this entertaining? And uh, yeah, I think it might have just been one of those products where there was a lot riding on it. It was a launch title, like a, really, yeah. you know, a console launch title. And uh, not only that, but it was a bit of a flagship game, uh, or not just flagship game, but flagship franchise for uh, PlayStation in general. So uh, I think I had a lot of stuff on its shoulders. So unfortunately, yeah, but I finished it. Saw it through to the end. <laughs> which, that ended the second of the game. Yeah, the ending sucks too. The ending yeah, is not good. Rough. Um, and it was just like when I got to the end. I was just like, huh. Thin. <laughs> like, like that's okay. sure. Yeah. Like, whatever. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed uninstalling it. As harsh as that sounds. <laughs> it's a lot of hard drive space back too. <laughs> it was a lot of hard drive space. It's like my hard drive is very um, ready for new stuff. Um, <laughs> Free, free space never felt so good. Oh, yeah. And I'm filling it right back up tonight. Um, <laughs> I just purchased two games this evening that uh, I'm excited to try out. I picked up the uh, Mortal Kombat XL um, because oh, yeah. I'm in the mood for a fighting game. And I think that's a good choice. Um, I also picked up a, another title called uh, The Deadly Tower of Monsters. And, yeah, that's, uh, that that's a bit on the nose. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's kind uh, of so what, what's this game about exactly? This... It's um it's a love story uh-huh. <laughs> about pandas <laughs> in a bamboo forest. Now, um, yeah, it's it's very like uh, Plan Nine, uh, Ray Harryhausen kind of vibe to it. Like like your spaceship has a string. Like you can it's like all of these sort of B movie tropes from like the sixties and seventies and eighties. Um, even like there's dinosaur enemies that you have to fight in the game. And they're animated by way of stop motion. Yeah. Like it's still 3D models, but the way that they made them move is very like, like, like jagged and jittery, and like yeah. there's not a lot of smoothness to it. Um, and like some of the other enemies look like they're just wearing like full head to toe just vinyl suit. Um, and there's just a there was like I saw one bit where like there was a. Uh, I'm sorry. My wife is watching Dancing with the Stars, and they're dancing to the DuckTales theme. Really? That's hard to do. I'm trying to... <laughs> How do you even okay, do apparently, that? Apparently, it's TV night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't mean to be distracted. No, that's great. I, literally, in my right ear, is like, DuckTales! That's all I hear. And your head's just on a swivel at that point. Like, what? Where? <laughs> How are you s- swimming in gold coins? Like, how can you coordinate that? They're even in costumes. <laughs> uh, Win. Audience, I recommend you YouTube it tomorrow. Um, so YouTube. what was I talking about? Yeah, this game. Uh, B-movie, Harry House and Wonder. Uh, I'm excited to try it out. It's kind of like a top-down uh, beat-em-up brawler shooter sort of thing. Uh, looks really cool. Kind of like lost in space vibe to it like all sorts of if you like the, the that sort of genre of like classic sci-fi and stuff uh, apparently it's supposed to be something that you dig so uh, i like that stuff 
I'm not gonna give it a shot. So yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, those are gonna fill up the space that was currently occupied by uh, Killzone Shadowfall. I will though, I will say though, I I'm very excited for um, oh Horizon Zero Dawn, the new game by that studio. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, like mechanical uh, dinosaur what, hunting. What, yeah, like looks so good. My experience with Killzone hasn't in any way affected my excitement for their new project. Um, I think if anything, the studio getting a chance to take a break mm. from that to that property to focus on something new and something fresh. Um, that one's, um, I think it's pretty fantastic. soon, isn't it? I think it's early next year. Or oh, that for out. I thought maybe it's like October. I'm th- oh, sorry, like November. I thought it was closer. Uh, you could be right. I might be totally wrong. I don't. Know. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. That's hope you. Yeah, I hope you are. That's like yeah. <laughs> get <it> sooner. <laughs> yeah. So I'm thinking of Recore. Which yeah didn't look quite as good, but yeah I think and it didn't uh, some of the reviews are saying it didn't quite reach its full potential but I'm I'm curious to maybe do a little bit more reading up on that before I make any decisions. Um, robots apocalypse always fun, but <laughs> yeah uh, that was my week in dad and gaming. At the um yeah so for mine that's uh I think a good way to start it is to state emphatically that um. Never have I or never I will I punch a little girl. Oh, that's good. Oh. There we go. Can we get that as a sound bite? Can we just get it right there? <laughs> but, uh, but darn it if I wasn't thinking about it a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> but darn it if I wasn't thinking of it a lot <laughs> as I saw my son get beat up by one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, so, there's a, oh. so he... We're at an event and it has a bouncy castle. Now, to our discredit, slightly more my wife's discredit, because <laughs> I was not, he wasn't supposed to be in it. It's like three to five, right? Yeah. Or like three to like 10. And, he, and he's won. <laughs> and it's just like, what's going to happen is there's going to be bigger kids jumping around. He's going to just be a bowling ball, like bounce. <laughs> it's not good. But uh, he did pretty well. Like, and the other kids, for the most part, were very nice about it. They actually thought it was kind of fun that there's this little guy. And he's, you know, he's rough and tumble, so he's getting pushed around. He's kind of enjoying it. But there's this one girl, this one linebacker of a little girl. Just, she's big, man. Like, I, and I saw the dad, and the dad looked like a football player. So it's, it's a good thing I didn't punch his girl. So, <laughs> among other reasons. But um, this girl is big. Anyways, she very purposely started to like go after my son <laughs> like she would like he's just kind of running over this way and she'd kind of charge and like kind of get some knees into him and then he'd go down and she's like jumping on top of him with his with her knees and it's just like i'm like oh don't leave him alone <laughs> don't do this like, it leave. sounds like a boss battle you know like she she's like winding up the charge and he has to get out of the way <laughs> but it's just like you could see for him, it, he was doing fine, and he was laughing. He was he was giggling all the way, but it's like from my pers- from my perspective, I could see like the intent, and it's like she was just kind of pushing it as far as she could. Like, how much punishment can I dole out to this little guy without causing an issue? And it was going too far. It was going too far for me, and it's just, ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to the rest of your life, Trevor. Like there oh, is gonna be so much to do. Man, there. oh, it's just and the, I'm just on the side. I'm just like I'm like curling my hands. I'm just like I can't. You don't. It's and, and the thing and that's very and like you're 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 dead on, Jeff. It's just like and specifically, I'm thinking in my head is just like this is this is training. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is how kids do. This is what happens. I can't react. Um, and I can't parent that other kid. And he's he's got to sometimes learn how to like roll with that too. So just if anything, it was just this exercise in patience and <laughs> usa calm. Don't get upset. But man, <laughs> and, and, you know, I say jokingly at the beginning as far as like hitting little girls, but as far as um, I wasn't sure. How, the first time I've certainly felt kind of dad rage in that happening where you want to like run in. And do something, and I'm trying to imagine now because this and this is going to be a theme, right? Like throughout his whole life, he's if let's say he plays soccer or hockey, 
and some other big kid like takes him down. Like you need to exercise that calm and that restraint. Like it's not appropriate to get riled up about that. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I could see that when he's older. Uh, when he's when he's one, eh. we can come in. But like, like when I was supposed to like, march in there and scream. And my the additional problem too is I, I was already on in a bad position because he's not supposed to be in there. Yeah, yeah, he couldn't have said anything that. Oh, you should hit my kid. Like, well, yeah. why, why is your one year old doing in this thing? Like, right. Uh, well, it's just. <laughs> so, which, which honestly was actually one of the bigger reasons I didn't want him in there. It's not so much because I, th- I could, I would be worried about him. It's like he's gonna if he if he hits his eye, whatever. Like that's like him. That's he gets injured all the time. That's how it rolls. But it's more just like you're putting him into a situation he's not supposed to be in. So now if something happens, it's on you. You know, like and there's no <laughs> drawback. You threw him in the lion's oh. den with all the other gladiators yeah. like going yeah. around. Oh, he started, <laughs> at the beginning, at the beginning, no one else was in there, and just started to fill up with kids. Yeah, and with each kid, it was just a notch on my anxiety. And then as linebacker girl came in, that was it. It, it was just oh no. Was there like were you not able to hit like the abort button and just pull them out when like things got too hairy? That's hard to do in a bouncy <sighs> castle. Yeah. I've had to climb in. <laughs> Yeah. A little right? bit of that. Yeah, first, yeah, firstly, he's like just bouncing around. Secondly, he's having he's still again, he's having a great time. Although again, like it's kind of like the finding the right time in the escalation, because eventually if, if the girl does push too far and now he gets hurt, like how does that feel? But the wife was also filming it. She's laughing. It seemed like it seemed like the whole rest of the world was having a fantastic time. As I'm having this like quintessential meltdown in my own psyche about anger but like trying to have calm and like trying to teach myself to re- remain resolute in this situation like it was, there's, it was a, just, a, there's a panning shot to like ah this is fun and then just you just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just like just like marching on the spot just like biting my nails off Can't do oh this. so i did not so so never have and never will i punch a little girl but oof Oof, if I wasn't testing. You passed, yeah, you passed your first real world test. Like, this is the start. Yeah, it's, it's I good for you. I get nervous when uh, when the wife is pushing baby in the swing. They, they like to go high. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> go around. I think it's on the, I think it's on the roof it's of the like, school. Oh, nuts. <laughs> I, I know everything's safe. And like baby's laughing, mama's laughing, but dad's on the side, just like everything's clenched. <laughs> <laughs> Every single muscle. <laughs> everything's clenched. <laughs> My gallbladder is doing sit ups. Everything's <laughs> clenched. Oh man, but the um, so in talking of the games, I mean the <laughs> there's some surprise, I guess, before we got rolling, I'd mentioned that I didn't play No Man's Sky this week. And it, it's not the, the honeymoon's not over. I'm still curious, still enjoying it. But um, it was it was a killer week with work, just just busy. And it, it wasn't that; it was just other stuff to do. So um, there was some game time, but it was super minute. We're talking like there's a, these little windows amongst it at max an hour, more like twenty minutes to thirty minutes. Oh, yeah. And the problem is like I was almost finding like I was I was wasting I think up to ten minutes before I started playing anything with just indecision, like nervous, and indes- not nervous is too strong a word, but like um, just put into inaction, just yeah, you know, yeah, you paralyzed as far as like, I, I have so little time, like what thing am I going to play? And then thinking of No Man's Sky, it's just like that is a, that is a drop of time into an infinite sea of an infinite ocean of hours. And it, it'll mean nothing. It'll still be good, but like it, there's other things to maybe do. Yep. Um, so, I mean, the, the things that I fell back to were Overwatch, because those are a c- c- couple quick matches, and it's kind of like practice, and it's, it's that's still a lot of fun. And that, so those Because those are like five, ten-minute matches. So that's like, bing, bing. Okay, that felt good. Get out of there. Uh, and the other one was Alone With You, because you were able to uh, kind of finish off one segment. Like So there's always each... Call almost like episode or day kind of revolves around one yeah. person. Yeah. Um, in that kind of exploration, um, I try to imagine for the viewers, it's alone with you, it's space, uh, 
jeez, I'm not even sure how to like suppose a space adventure game. Are you going around and you're visiting holograms and the sites of a wrecked colony, gathering data. That data then translates into a experience in a holodeck with the person who had been part of that particular wreckage. Whichever place you go to, that's who you talk to that night. And so that kind of segments it really nicely, and that takes up, yeah. you know, like ten to twenty minutes. Um, so that's great. That, that 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 breaks it up nicely. I'll say one thing is that this it's very uh, Metrovania, in the sense that very much like Metroid, where you go up to one section, it's locked. You go over to another section. Hey, you got this thing. Now you can open this. So you go back up to that section. You can open it, which gives you a key. So you can go down to the third section, and I can open. That I'm not finding that game very conducive to fatherhood, where it's <laughs> where it tests it, your memory. You're like, I don't know. <laughs> the memory's fine. It's just it's just like the time waste. If if I can put it in that way, it's because you walk six quarters to the left to get to the thing. It's like, oh, you don't have the key. So you walk six back, then you walk six over. Hey, you got the key. And then you walk six over, and then you walk six over, and now you got inside <laughs> of it. Then you go six back, and it, you know what I mean? Like it, it's in and of itself, and because the game is so beautiful, like it um, alleviates it to the point of still being enjoyable. But that type of game where it's all that backtracking is kind of grinding me a bit, especially when, especially in the last week when I have so little time. It's just like, okay, now go back through the corridor. Like, okay, I guess like, I don't really have time to shoot rocks. But like <laughs> Overwatch, like in that little bit of time you have, it's like, yeah, I can get a lot done. Um, or I can have a lot of conclusive experiences. Um, it's the amount of interactivity you need to execute in order to reach a particular conclusion. And how many of those conclusions can you squeeze into the time allotted? Um, like with No Man's Sky, to get the same number of sort of peaks of like, I hit a conclusion, yay. Um, like, you need to play it for a couple hours. Um, but like on Overwatch, if you, you can get that same number of like, hey, I accomplished something, the round is done and I did all right. You can get those same numbers in like 20 minutes as opposed to like two hours. So it's that rate of return in regards to like, how much time do I need to invest to see a return on that investment in reward of just finishing a level or finishing a match or finishing this or that. So yeah, I could see like even with, yeah, Alone With You is very much a uh, a lot of walking around. Um, and uh, and yeah, it's like it's it's there to sort of echo the the kind of desolate, derelict void of this old colony. But yeah, like so I, it's usually, I, don't, I don't feel like it's I'm doing it. I don't feel like it's extending itself or it's wasting my time. Like I wouldn't use that as a criticism. It's more just I think it's used in effect effectively just to, yeah, like you said, just further drive home that loneliness, that isolation, like good God, this is I am the only person on this planet and it is gone to pot. Yeah. Like this is bad. And like well, and, you're seeing those minutes tick away every single time you need to watch an door <clears throat> animate open or closed, you're like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, I know. Like the key, it's down there. Just get me to the get me the place. I know it's there. The best Why part of fast travel. Just give me you, fast travel. You should pause like in between and then you have to leave and then come back. And you're like, oh my God, what was I doing? <laughs> and you have to backtrack the other way. And you're like, no, I've been here. <laughs> yeah. There's one in in a moment of uh and a not proud moment, I had, um, there was a password you need to find. And uh, obviously, there was these posters around, and you had to patch together the certain words and then put it, like that, that spelled out a password. Yep. Um, with, my, <laughs> with my knowledge of passwords, I did not include spaces. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it in what would seem like the obvious answer. It's like, oh, that's not it. And I'm like, Okay, so at that point now, I'm this guy and I have to walk around all over the place, every, like 50 screens, 20 doors, trying to, to reseat, and it's all the same stuff. And I'm like, this is the only thing it could be unless it's like being super abstract. Like I literally Googled it. <laughs> I tried to find a walkthrough because I'm like, I don't, I know I can solve this. I don't have time. I need to move forward. 
<laughs> and then finally, I'm like, okay, wait, did they include, was it a password with spaces in it? Are you telling me it was a password with spaces? And then, yep, it was. So it was just like, <laughs> I wasted that time. It's not the game, <laughs> it's the user. Yeah. <laughs> user error. In the future, they allow spaces in passwords. They do. <laughs> I, don't, I was just, oh, I was so livid with myself at that point. Just like, that was a lot of time, man. <laughs> it's so precious. I have so I have so, so little time. I know the one you mean, Please. too, because I put it in as one word, too, and I'm like, oh, maybe it's just spaces. And then I did See, that. I should have just, like, I should have just messaged you, like, like what is Jeff, this? what's even Wait, Gavin, Gavin, what's a password? <laughs> Come on, give me the notes, give me the code just to get around this. Just no, no handouts, no handouts. Come on, help a dad out. <laughs> I need the Gavin DLC. Give me a 149, will cost you. Yeah, each each tip is it's the Gavin tip line. It's like the old school tip line, yeah, from Nintendo. Five dollars a minute. Yeah, welcome to you never call uh, those never. Gavin tip line. <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Gavin, I, I know you're there. I can hear your wife in the background. Just tell me. I don't have time for this. <laughs> My dad, go on. <laughs> oh, the... Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, that, that about some of the week, just the... Oh, and this, so, it, and otherwise, he's now graduated to the toddler room at daycare from the infant room. Did I make that announcement last week? It was yeah. still about to happen. Okay, so this is this is it. So he's got left him in. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's the smallest one. Get ready. He's the youngest kid in there, but uh, these ones seem pretty well behaved. Oh, actually, no, never mind. Another girl came and stole an egg from him this morning. An egg, like a hard-boiled egg? egg, like an egg. It's a, an egg, an egg toy, like one of okay. those. Uh, he stole his cloud. food, just like yoink. <laughs> there's, this, there's this big bowl of it, and he he goes and grabs one. This girl comes over and just like Meh, takes Mine. it. I'm like, what is with you and ladies? Like you having the same issues I had. <laughs> None of them like you. Just take, take, take. <laughs> you, know, you just give. Must be like some sort of family pheromone. Yeah, just, <laughs> these these guys are easy. Take them for granted. Yeah. <laughs> take everything they got. <laughs> Oh, I do have a um, a proud moment this week. Huh. Um, I haven't been able to say this in a very long time, but um, I beat my wife at Tetris. Oh yeah, it was it's perfect! It was amazing. It was so <laughs> good, it was so great. Um, I also realized for that whole... that's a sentence that you need to finish. Yep. Because if you don't get those last two words in. It sounds really wrong. Yeah, Terrific. yeah, yeah. So, is but, that on the uh, PS4 version with all like yeah. the crazy, the crazy special effects, and... low colors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But the battle mode in that one's pretty decent because you can fire lines over to each other and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I finally won around. Cause... <laughs> yes. <laughs> in your face. In your face. Not a gracious <laughs> victory at all. You're just like, whoa. <laughs> it, there was no shame. 15 um, years. And like I almost contemplated like never agreeing to play again. Oh, just end on that note. That's it. That's wrong. So I'll yeah. almost still play because it's fun. But uh yeah. Uh yeah, that, that happened. So <laughs> just need a break. Proud that. moment. I like that segment. Good dad. Proud moment. Proud moment. Yeah, the, um... Yeah, I wasn't able I to get my um... against my wife in video games. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't able to get uh, Carolina into alone with you. I was uh I think she might I think she might have if I had um tried a little bit harder to get her to sit through the first bit because I think she would have gotten into some of the story parts especially when the people start coming up and would have started getting intrigued in the story. Like the actual uh like the hologram sequences. Yeah, or even before that, like as it starts to talk, and any of the things where it just discusses the uh, character dynamics, I think she would have gotten into. But I think it just came down to another video game. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not quite interested. So I'm still. I'm curious about um, when I, I 
<laughs> See what, what? Sorry, when I picture trying to sit my wife down to play a video game, I think like a Clockwork Orange. Like I feel like <laughs> make her eyes just <laughs> stare. And sit down. Just watch it. <laughs> enjoy the fr- <laughs> enjoy the frame rates. <laughs> Look at all those effects. Controller in its hands. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I'm curious if we can do for um, a thief sin. So um, mm. <laughs> I was going to say less. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of the name of this series. Like what game? It's a thief sin. It's Drake. Oh, is it Drake. Uncharted. Nathan Drake. Uncharted. Uncharted thank you. Uncharted. Hey, yeah. I know there's another word in there. Thief sin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm wondering if I can get into number four because that's uh, man, that a lot game. of killing. Did she like killing? There's a lot of killing. Uh, yeah, that'd be the those in between sequences might be tough. It might be the type of thing where maybe she's there on the phone. The intro will hook her, if anything. Yeah, like and not to give think... anything away, but the intro will. Yeah, so she's there, and then for the shooty shooty sequence, yeah, just go away. She, she pull out her phone, like just <laughs> kind of not pay attention, and then like follow along with the story. Yeah. So I'll say the I so one of the things for games I wanted to mention is actually I'm, uh, I decided to not finish Uncharted. What? Not that one. <laughs> Wrong game. Lost Cause Three. <laughs> lost <laughs> Cause. It's yeah. <laughs> I like how the game. It's a Lost Cause. You renamed Lost Cause. Wait, it's not just, like, just Cause. Son just of. Cause. <laughs> well, now it's a, now it's, see. I was just speaking my true heart. It's, it's just a, a Freudian cause. slip. It's a for Lost Cause. Oh wow! I didn't mean to say it. It is so wonderful. And it, it's and deliver such like. It was perfect too. I thought for confidence. Sure. Lost cause. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Just cause three. Yes. I'm not gonna beat it. No. I'm done. That's kind of a sandbox game anyway, right? You can come back to it. Oh, I suppose, man. But it's just like the we went through a huge sequence, um, a ton of difficult fights, big, huge set pieces, and then it's like, okay, now liberate more towns. It's like, well, that's kind of a kind of a letdown after all of that and actually i got in and I, I was flying around i'm stealing cars i'm jetting through the sky everything's like a lot of fun as it would be but i get to the town i have to liberate and it's like 20 items i gotta do one is like hopping around the the roofs very awkwardly trying to like turn off um signal jammers like within a time period and then find a Was that billboard the to sh- that had the two towers with the bridges between them Maybe one of those. So it, it had one of those rooftop hops, and it was just like that one took me forever, and I hated doing that one. But even, but even just a thought, like it said, like to, in order to continue the story, you have to liberate like two more provinces, which includes like three towns each. Yeah, and it's just like I, no, I'm, I'm, that's fine, I'm done, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I have. Your your presidente is not too bad. Yeah. It's just okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you dear island people. I, you will not be liberated because I got bored. That's just, <laughs> just there's so many other things to play. Like there's uh, so many other games I want to get to. The I have both of the infamous games locked and loaded. I have um, is it Gravity Rush? The yeah yeah, yeah I got Gravity Rush. I've 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 wanted to play that game ever since. It was on the other console. I went Xbox route initially, so I missed it. Didn't have uh, the Vita or the it for whatever system initially came out with. So I've wanted that game for a long time. It's a bunch on Steam that I got, and it just it came time to liberate like nine other cities. And it's like I just yeah. dad time. I'm sorry, I, I <laughs> can't do it. I'm not enjoying it enough to bother, and I got a lot of stuff to get to. So I, cheers. I finished it, but I think I was in a bit of a game trope then as well. Um, so like, I what was good about that game is that those little twenty minute intervals I could liberate a town or two, and that was how I did that. Um, but like to spend a two hour play session just liberating provinces would be repetitive. But like, yeah, so. You know, if you, if you're looking for something other than Overwatch to fill in a 20 minute void, that's usually a good thing to do. But also, if you never feel like playing it again, whatever. I don't know. Maybe one of those things I pick up uh, when some for some reason I'm left alone for an afternoon and I just have a bunch of time. Like, you know, maybe I'll, I'll dip back into it. But nah, no, it's, just uh, it's, now. 
<laughs> You're so <laughs> indecisive. Just delete it. So it's <laughs> one last choice <laughs> on your list. I, like, I, I have to say, uh, I get cravings to play Just Cause 2 more than playing yes. Just Cause 3. Yes. Like, I keep every so often, like, I got to boot up that Xbox. I got to play some Just Cause 2. Um, there's just something about it that kept pulling me back. So, uh, and unfortunately, I just don't think Just Cause 3 hit that mark. Um, it's still a good game, but didn't have that sort of like uh, almost like a cult following that. Uh, Just Cause 2 had. Just Cause 2, like, with a multiplayer mod on, on Steam and all that, like, that game was just, it was, it was their opus. It was so good. Um, it's, I think they just raised the bar too much on themselves. That third one just hard to meet it. So. Man, it, it's like, it is, that place is so impressive, though. Like, that sandbox. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is, it is remarkable. I have never seen something so big and gorgeous like it and all the little towns are so detailed and varied the second one no is it bigger the second it's around the same size the one thing i did really enjoy about the second one is there seemed to be more variety in uh geography um because there was everything from like tropical island coast mm-hmm. to like snow crested yeah. peaks um and you could transition from the two, and there was like more forested areas and stuff. Uh, the towns and cities didn't quite have that um, visual variety. They felt a little cardboard boxy, but uh, the second one just had a better variety of like ecosystems. So it made, it might not have like just sheer kilometer wise, it might not have been as vast. Um, as the third one, the third one's probably bigger just because they have to, because it's the third. Um, but the second one just had this sort of sense of this is a full country with like different climates and elevations and stuff. So it really, really had a great sense of that. Like the map design and everything was just hit that note where this one, everything felt a little samey. Like it was all like mediterranean vibe which was beautiful but it was all mediterranean but the other one like it had like sort of like a nepal area and like a more of like a like a burma area and then like a, a, a thailand area like it had all these areas that sort of made sense in a like a pacific island sort of area you know uh east asia um sort of geography but all of that that would encompass in one small thailand island tiny island region so the second one had a little bit more variety in that sense so it made it more fun to explore mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah i'm gonna go play that game now <laughs> you can go back and play that tonight guarantee it yep so we can do it right after this podcast <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, and then speaking of that, perhaps we could uh, swing around to our beer picks for the week. Yeah, uh, Jeff, what were you? Let's uh, go. So- um, basic again this week. I'm just on a Keats. Fair I got nothing this week. There's nothing special. This was on sale. I actually did all my bottle returns Ooh. and got this no, for okay, free. So much- so- you, you have, got enough for a video like, game. So, like, what's your average stockpile? Like when oh, you bottles. Return? Oh, like how uh, much do you save up before you do the return? Quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Embarrassingly, um, like a lot. <laughs> did you get a free case of beer, Jeff? Yeah, I did. So, wow. quite a bit. Yeah. It, okay. So I have like a Outback, right? So Subaru yeah. Outback, and that trunk, which is almost wagon-like, yeah, uh, was stuffed. So. <laughs> I wait a long time oh. to do that. That's impressive. Right. So, but it has yeah. more meaning that way. Like when you do it, you're just like, I don't know. I... It's like it's like the old arcade, like the tickets you get off like the ski ball. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm getting skateboard today. I need guys. to save up for this. <laughs> I need to add it to the collection. Yeah, I'm not getting some pencil eraser chump prize. I'm saving yeah. up, and I'm gonna walk in there like a boss and get the skateboard. I want the free pounds of tickets. Yeah. You should see everyone roll their eyes when I come in though. It's great. Are you that guy? 
I'm that guy. Like, well, I mean, the genius thing that they did finally at the beer store was to separate the two. So they have like the beer, like the bottle return line. Yeah. And then they yeah. have like the buy yeah. beer line. And thank, thank God for that. Except yeah. for the guy behind you who has like six bottles. He's like, oh, <laughs> just yeah. take them. I lock out because every time I come in, like I average maybe like a couple cases because we only have a finite amount of space for me to stockpile. Um, if I had the room and the cargo <laughs> capacity in my car, I would probably save up mainly for just the the fun of cashing in all those chips at once. Um, but when I go in with like my pretty, you know, mo- modest return, um, the people ahead of me who have like the station wagon load uh, yeah. are usually hey. like, oh, just go ahead. <laughs> I'm still busy. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, yeah, well, I, I'll chalk it up to lazy. I won't say I'm saved up. It's just <laughs> I go with, go with excitement. You like a little excitement in your life. That's okay. There you go. You hit that point where where the wife is just like, okay, honey. It was it was a rainy day on Saturday, and that was my yeah. job was to clean out the garage of <laughs> bottles, which was good. Now I have so much more room to fill it up yeah. again. Of bottles. <laughs> you have like a spot on the floor that has like a little tape, and like just put like tape on the floor, and it's like this is the area because you know that that area of floor space, if it's just beer cases, yes, it, sh- it should be a measure, yeah, yeah, and it's like okay, that is the capacity of <laughs> of my car. Right. The- well, that too. I just think like every little tape line could be a dollar representation. Well, yeah, this yeah, tape yeah. line is ten dollars, and this tape yeah. line is twenty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> this tape line is free beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make that a little game cool. game out of it. A level system, perfect. Like, hey, I got a Tetris. It's a two four. <laughs> <laughs> Skipping all the way to the beer store. Yeah, no, that's... I don't know if you can skip with that many bottles, but yeah, <laughs> <Get up. laughs> you get the point. That was me. Clang, clang, smash. That's the um. So. Oh yeah, my I've been, I mentioned so, before I don't like I don't like negativity. Um, <laughs> I don't like not I don't like not liking things because uh, I like to think it's maybe just taste. But I uh, I actually poured this beer down the drain. I didn't finish it. Wow. Yeah, it was just this was bad. I mean, That's for bad. myself. What's, what bothers me now is now I look at so I'm looking at um, I didn't take down the name of it. I only took down the or the brewer. I only took down the name. So looking for it, I find it on Untapped, and people have rated it like four out of five caps. Like people are loving it, so it's like me. <laughs> so it's like it must be just myself. But it's um, so from Nickelbrock Brewing. It's a Raspberry Uber. That sounds disgusting. What are you talking? About? <laughs> <laughs> it man, it was just it tasted like there's there's two comparisons. Kind of tasted like somebody took like raspberry cough syrup and just poured it into beer. Yeah, or, like or they lunch. say don't. <laughs> the next, literally, the next beer I had after this one was a side launch, so I could have a good, Cleanse delicious it. beer. Of course, he did. <laughs> you did like quite that. honest. <laughs> yeah. No, so the cough syrup thing's not quite right. I mean, it's more like there was just this tart raspberry concentrate that they just put into a wheat beer. It's like somebody roofied pint with a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> Oh, see, but man, Jolly Rancher has a bunch of sugar. This there was not a hint of sweetness to it. It was just all the tartness of raspberries, none so, of the sweetness, and it was just like, I I was like, my face was like, got like a, a a case of underripe raspberries, and they're like, what are we gonna do with these? And I was like, I don't know, just make some micro brew beer. We'll sell it to the handlebar you know, mustache crowd. We'll be fine. We'll love it. Man, it must have been it, cause just it. I don't know what what's up to like. How did everyone? How is everyone rating it so high? There's a lot of heat, like out of um, almost three thousand people have rated this beer, and it paid. is st- they're all paid. Three thousand people paid, <laughs> and the average is four out of five. Well, man, I'm trying to see, I want to find somebody's review here. Maybe they just drank a lot before and then were given this beer. Tart so- but decent dessert beer. Tart, almost sour raspberry taste. Not bad. Lots of raspberry, pleasantly tart, easy to enjoy. Not super sour, easy drinking. Like maybe, like maybe I drank it too cold. Like I needed no. to warm up a bit. Oh, Sounds gross. If you didn't like the flavor cold. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. So uh, it's only going downhill from there, man. <laughs> I, I cannot. I cannot recall many times in my beer drinking history where I've actually just <laughs> poured it down the drain because I couldn't finish it. But uh, oof, this is too much. Did not. Uh, did not enjoy. Cannot recommend. I'm afraid. Wow. Yeah, I, I know. Have probably picked it up myself. <laughs> yeah, I got it. So I literally they, in, in LCBO they're they selling these mystery bags. So that, yeah, I was like, which should, I should have known better, but it's like four beers for whatever price, just mystery bag, craft mystery bag, and I, I'm just a sucker for that type of thing because I want to try new stuff. So I'm like, all right, and this is that's, one of them. that's all the cases they've broken and just shoved into a bag and said <laughs> some somebody's some gonna buy it, <laughs> or that is rotten, the store or they could sell. Have that basket in the beer section, you know that basket where it's like they're all individually priced. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like the dollar store bin of like, <laughs> and it's in the LCBO. No, this is at the front. Bagged that, and then just wrote a number on the front. And, and wrote mystery <laughs> with the, with the word craft and never, you know, yeah. Yeah. morons like me will be like, ooh, craft yeah. must taste mystery great. Micro craft brew. <laughs> <laughs> so mystery craft didn't work out. Cannot recommend. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, kind of mystery though. It's like. Now you're gonna to want to go and try to find the good one. So you're gonna get another bag. It can't be bad twice in a row, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's just a bag full of the raspberry ones. <laughs> Nothing bought them. Uh, Gavin, yourself. Um, picked up a Red Racer IPA. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> trying to angle the can. Yeah, whatever. It's can. You can see it. There it is. Uh, it's by Central City Brewers. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was hoppy, um, strong ale. So like for like regular pint, it was six point five. So I didn't read that till now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was pretty tired when I started it. So, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, no, it was good. It was a nice sort of uh, hoppy, mildly bitter uh, IPA. Uh, good sort of meatiness to it like i'm i'm satisfied i'm not really feeling like another which is good because i don't have another um but yeah no it was good i enjoyed it um yeah i wouldn't add raspberry to it no <laughs> there's very few things you'd add raspberry to and that's okay so now banana banana and cloves and then you're talking <sighs> no never never <laughs> all the time mm. <laughs> Oh, everybody, thank you so much for listening. This has been New Dad Gaming. Um, if you'd like to reach out to us, you can find us on our website at newdadgaming.com. You can send us comments, questions, or show suggestions. We The podcast itself is up on iTunes as well as Google Podcasting Service and many other podcasting services that you have. Um, we're on Twitter and Facebook. Otherwise, do this show weekly and would love for you to subscribe, like, and spread it around. Everybody, thanks so much for listening. Until next week, my name is Trevor, and I have a one-year-old. My name is Gavin, and I have a one-year-old. And I'm Jeff. I got a six-year-old and a three-year-old. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. See you. Bye.